Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing fantastic. And it's Monday, and I said yesterday that we were going to kick off another giveaway today. And thankfully, Southern Arkansas Girl, our last winner, she did reach out to me last night, and I was able to kind of get all of that stuff kind of settled because you know I like kind of getting the prior, the previous giveaway done before I start a new one. So that went awesomely. So that was very good. Okay, so this is a giveaway. It is sponsored by me. Nobody else, not YouTube, not our you know highlight here, which is Monthly Knife Club, which we're going to talk about here in just a minute. But as always, the way you're going to get into this giveaway, you are going to comment down in the comment section of this video. I'm going to tell you what to comment, but you got to listen to me ramble for a little bit first. Maybe I'll get lucky and you have to watch an ad, so help me make a little money. But let's see. Okay, in the comment section of this video, please, after you comment, please be aware of scammers. I will not comment on this video until the giveaway closes, which will be, as always, Sunday, which is going to be the, what, the 5th, yes, hey, that's when Daylight Saving Times flips around, yeah, right, right, November 5th, Daylight Saving Times ends, okay, so November 5th, at 6 o'clock p.m. Central Time. That's when this giveaway is going to close. Please be 18 plus because I am sending you a knife. So please, just be 18. Please live in the United States because I also got a bunch of food that I'm going to be sending out. Don't want to have no issues with customs and all that in other countries. Sorry, you guys across the pond. I love you. It's just, it's a logistical nightmare. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what comment to make. Don't spam it. Only do it once. Only give me one comment. You know, my, my, my comment picker will kick out if you, if you, you know, do multiple posts. So don't do that. So first things first, we're going to talk about Month and Knife Club. These guys sent me this knife that we are going to give away. They are awesome, awesome people. And let's see, they've got Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. You can go there. You can subscribe. You can get knives shipped directly to your door every single month. And you can also get knives and other items. They have many boxes for you to choose from. This particular knife that we're going to be giving away, courtesy of the fine folks at Monthly Knife Club, is from their Tier 2 name brand knife box. Okay, This is one of the boxes that you can, or one of the services that you can subscribe to on their uh, website. And I will have a link to them in the description box of this video. I actually, come think of it, really an I have these guys linked in every video, so I really try to put them out there as much as I can, you know, with my, as, as our small little group here, you know, I'm trying to do what I can do, but this is a Honey Badger, limited edition, HB1286, so this is some kind of limited edition run of this knife, this is a D2 steel knife, so it's going to be, you know, a really good steel, let's see, what we got here, we got drop point blade, uh, let's see, it has a frictionless opening closing system facilitated by two opposing roller bearings containing a total of 18 ball bearings. Uh, this makes opening and closing something that you want to do because apparently it's very pleasant. Okay, so this is going to be a good, you know, pickup for your EDC rotation. This is a 4 ounce weight, has a 3.63 blade length, overall 8.25. Like I said, D2 steel, and we got a FRN, which is fiber reinforced nylon on the scale, uh, scale material. This is the knife. It does come with this really nice little case that has honey badger kind of, is that embroidered? Yes, embroidered on there. So really nice. Really like that. And they give you some information. Honey badger don't care. Yes, because a honey badger is something that can literally escape almost anything. So... And this is just a little, this is a little pamphlet here from Honey Badger Knives that gives you, you know, offerings of, of all their knives and their probably website somewhere on here, yeah? And it tells you about the warranty and all that kind of stuff. Let's see. Honeybadgerknives.co.za. Wow. So this is South Africa. Okay. Okay, so it's proudly designed in South Africa. All right. Represent, yo. All right, so we have this little case, and you got some little uh, silica bags there that you definitely don't want to eat. I think it would not serve you very well. But, you know, yeah, throw them away, don't eat them. And here is the knife. This is the Honey Badger. It's a very good-looking knife. 
It is a very, very good looking knife. And man, I'm wearing a black shirt again. I always, I don't think before I pick my clothes out for these videos, which technically you guys don't see me wearing a whole lot of clothes. I'm very Albert Einstein that way. I just like wearing white t-shirts because I go in my closet, I don't have to think about what I'm, what I'm doing. Okay, so this knife has some really good texturing there in the scales. Very nice, very, you know, it gives you a grip. We do have a thumb deployer here with some jimping on the scales, which is very, very nice. And this big kind of standoff here in the back toward the tail does have some very, that big, big super swamp tread, that swamp tire tread back there that wraps around the back and up here on the top. We do have a big hole here in the, in the back of the, there you go, right here. So I don't know what you want to do with that, but the clip is a kind of a deep pocket clip and it does... You can reverse it so you can run it either way. That's nice. And they, and they do give you a little a little wrench here. If you do want to remove those screws and flip this around, you do have the option to do that. And we do got a good pivot system here. There's no standoffs in the scales from the pivot to this big plate on the back, which is you know gonna be fine. Like I said, we do have a flipper tab right here that does have some jimping on it. And we got a big hole here in the in the top of the spine that you can you can flip it on out like that. A lot of people like doing that. I'm a flipper guy myself. I like using that flipper tab because I like the flipper tabs because the flipper tab, when its knife is open and locked in place by the liner lock system, it gives you, in front of the choil here, it gives you a stop. Kind of keep your finger in place in case you're running a little wild and loose and you get out of control. It kind of keeps you, keeps you grip where it should be. But the liner lock here has some jimping on it, some, some texturing on it to really give you good purchase there on your index. When you're pressing down between your index finger and your thumb, you have that you have that jimping on the bottom side to kind of keep your finger in place. The texturing right here is very, very close together. You know, it's not spread out. So it gives you a good bite on the scales and I like that. There's also, you know, about a finger's width of jimping on top of the spine on the blade. So you got jimping from here, from right here, all the way to here so very very nice pad for your thumb this is a really nice knife very nice and and it has that good sweep right here that i like i really do like that sweep because when it's in your grip it, it's it's very natural it, it's it's not giving your fingers uh, an unnatural resting position very nice and this blade length is very 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 good you got enough work you got enough of the working the working side here to do what you need to do and the fact that you know you can deploy it either way you can deploy it like that or you can deploy it with the flipper tab which i personally like to do and it does deploy very smooth and being that this is a ball bearing system you know definitely some some oil on the pivot system would make this knife you know deploy a lot smoother so yeah so there you go very nice pocket knife have a feeling will make somebody very very happy especially the fact that you're rocking a d2 kind of like a tool steel you know this that's gonna be a really good steel for somebody to have in a, in a little pocket knife this knife does carry around a 80 dollars value somewhere in that neighborhood depending on where you find it and depending if there's a sale you know or something like that you can probably score it a little cheaper but that is what we're rocking on the knife giveaway guys the honey badger the limited edition HB 1286. We love it. Love it. This is another one of those knives. This is another one of those knives that I am extremely jealous of. So speaking of, of scammers, you know, beware of the scammers in the comment section. That's a scammer calling me on my cell phone. Okay. Now I always give you guys some MREs because you seem really like that. So I've got a lot of MREs. Now what I'm gonna do, because I try to I try to make a purpose, right? Or or I don't know, I try to not just grab random stuff. So what I did with this giveaway, I've got a XMRE. This is a commercial MRE that uses military components. I got this one because this is a cheese tortellini, okay? That's the main entree in this one. This is from 2018. This is the 207, 270th day of 2018. Okay, all right. Now it tells you what all is in here. Let's see. Let me, let me be jealous. Let me see what kind of cookie. Okay, it's got an oatmeal cookie. Okay, I don't feel as bad because it's not an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. Those are good. Okay, so this is from XMRE. They're 1300 XT line. This is a company that is still around because I bought this you know thing several years ago. And I believe it's XMRE.com. Or you can just Google XMRE and you will find this company. They still produce 
these types of rations to this day. So that's, that's really cool. I'm glad to see that they're still in business. Okay, now the reason I'm giving you cheese tortellini in this one is because this is a MRE from Sapaco. This is a military government contractor right here. This is just the dirty civilian version of this. It's not the official military ration because this is one that can be legally, you know, put in commerce for us. But this is also a cheese tortellini entree. So I'm giving you cheese, cheese tortellini in a government contracted produce, even though it's the same. But this is kind of so you can see that there's really not that much of a variation in the actual entree itself. Now the components are not going to be the same. They're, they could be a little bit different. But this one is from, uh, let's see, that's 6029. This is the 29th day of 2016. So this one's coming up on a date which it needs to be eaten. And like I said, all of these MREs have been stored climate controlled. No big jumps, swings in temperatures because these are ones that I have stored in my house, in my office here that we're in. Okay, I'm gonna give you another MRE. What's better than that, right? I'm going to give you a HDR. And look at this, this is a big boy right here. This menu number one of these HDRs, these things are, these are big boys. These things, these things are, man, they're, they're thick, man. These things are thick, man, they're thick. Mm, it's thick. But anyway, this is menu number one. Uh, let's see, what, what's the date on this thing? This is 2019. This is 9170. So this is going to be 2019. So you got a HDR. These things are pretty I'm not going to say I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not going to make no personal assessments of the taste quality of these because taste is subjective to you, to me, to my dogs, subjective. This thing right here is going to have a whole lot of bean type situations going on because this is meant to, you know, be dropped all over the world. So they take dietary, religious, dietary, you know, restrictions. So generally these things are a lot of bean type entrees, things, right? All right, finally, I said I'm going to start putting some freeze dry stuff in here. Uh, this is Mountain House. I love Mountain House. So a lot of the stuff that you're going to be getting from me is going to be Mountain House. Uh, maybe maybe I'll dig into some backpacks. Or I, I think I have Backpacker's Pantry, and I think I have... What else do I have down there? My mind just went blank. I got some Wise Food, but I don't know if I want to do that to y'all. But this is chicken and dumplings, so you got a lot of cheese tortellini, so I figured I'd, I'd, I'd change it up and give you some chicken and dumplings. Uh, this is good until, what, 2049. So you got, you got some time on this bad boy. All right, so you're going to get the... Awesome honey badger knife. You're going to get three MREs, and you're going to get this freeze-dried food from Mountain House. Man, this, this, this ain't too bad right here. I'm kind of jealous. All right, now what do I got to do? What do I got to do to get in on this giveaway? What you got to do? Well, here's what you got to do. Go down to the comment section of this video and give me a comment on... I prepare... I, I tell you guys, okay? Because you, you, watching this video right now, I don't know what you prepare for, right? So I prepare for the zombie apocalypse just because it covers everything. It covers complete socio-economic collapse. Society will break down. The economy will break down. Everything, okay? So go down to the comment section of this video and you guys tell me if, if this dystopian future was to come true of the Z8, take a movie, okay, a movie, and tell me which of those movies would you prefer to see play out if this was a fix if this was going to happen so the zombie movies you can choose from are your typical night of the living dead uh let's see uh world war z and you can include movies with infected like 28 days later you know where people aren't necessarily technically zombies but they're just infected people let's see what else we got we got uh zombie land uh what else Oh, man, my mind's going blank. I should have wrote this down. God, what am I doing? I'm failing. I'm failing miserably. The I said Night of the Living Dead. What, what was the, the Day of the Dead? Dawn of the Dead was the one where they were in the mall. That was Dawn of the Dead, right? I think so. Uh, let's see. What else? What else? What else? I said World War Z. Uh, anyway, you guys, hey, you do the work. You do the work. You find a movie that follows that path of zombie apocalypse 
infected apocalyptic kind of future. Comment what movie, if you had to pick one, if you had to pick a movie to kind of be shoved into, which movie would it be? And you can also tell me why if you want to, you know. Give me your thoughts on that. You know, why not? I tell you guys that that's what I'm prepping for. So yeah, anyway, I know a lot of you already done clicked off and you're probably down there, you know, writing whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Be creative. To me personally, World War Z, World War Z wasn't really a, a zombie. That was that was kind of infected people. So let's see. So you see, you see the thing about that, I'm going to ramble for just a second because the problem with traditional zombies being just like reanimated people is they don't have their faculties intact, like their problem-solving skills. Like to me, you know how like people, how they segregate horse pastures, you know, they'll, they'll have, I, don't, I can't remember the name, when you, when you put that stop in a fence, you know, and horses can't go around it, but, but you know, we can. And, and I said, you know, you could probably trip up zombies with stuff like that because they're not smart enough to, to go that way, you know, and open doors and stuff like that. So to me, you know, the, the danger would be like the 28 days later type of infected people and the World War Z people where they're just infected people that are like out of their mind. And maybe they still possess some type of cognitive ability because that would obviously make them more of a threat. But anyway, go to the comment section. Have fun. You know, t tell me which of these movies, if you had to be plopped into one of these movies and, and, and you live out some crazy, you know, you know, survival situation or whatever, just give me a comment. Let me know which one it would be. All right, guys, that's all I got. I'm getting out of here. I've rambled away too long. Honey Badger Knife, three MREs, uh, Chicken and Dumplings from Mountain House. That's what's on deck. Hit that comment section and enjoy your Monday night. And I will see you guys next time. Good luck to all of you. Peace.